Okay, this video is dedicated to um, global warming, global earth changes, uh, solar system changes, and uh, the precession of the equinox. So let's talk about the precession first off. The precession of the equinox is that every 26,000 years or so, I can't, I'm not going to give you exact numbers, all the information's out there. Um, basically, around 26,000 years, we come into our whole solar system is passing through another, like a, a, almost like another star system, or we're getting closer to the center of the galaxy. And basically, for a couple thousand years, we're going to slingshot basically around this center. So, what I, to my understanding, uh, as we get closer to the center, we speed up. Time speeds up you know, vibration speeds up, everything just speeds up. And uh, and then as we get farther away from the center, everything slows down, and that's the dark ages, and well, anyways. Um, so basically, think about heat, okay? What happens whenever water becomes steam, right? Uh, basically, the molecules are heating up, they're moving faster, they're colliding more with each other, and so therefore, they, basically I'm just vibrating faster. Okay, so why is our world, why is global warming happening? It's simply because well, our molecules, everything in, on Earth, everything in the solar system is speeding up, moving faster, and so therefore everything is heating up. I mean, you cannot say it's because of us, it's a natural occurrence, it's gonna happen, and it, whenever vibration increases or frequency increases and so that's what's going on with global warming I mean you got you got people out there the only one that I really know um, is David Wilcock and he basically has done research with the uh, with a few other people and uh, uh, about the planetary changes of the other planets in the solar system and not just ours all these planets are heating up and, and the sun is definitely heating up. There's, there's supposed to be more solar flares within the next four years or or last 15 years than, than there has been in our known history. Um, as far as we know, is since we've been observing the sun. So that's what global warming is. It's basically us getting closer to this center. We're getting charged with different types of photonic energy and so therefore our molecules and the vibration of everything is speeding up. So now let's talk about, so that's the procession of the equinox. Uh, <laughs> it's real easy. Uh, there's a video out there on YouTube it's called Procession of Equinox. Uh, look it up. Uh, it's a great guy about uh, astrophysicists who studied all these ancient civilizations and how all these ancient civilizations were at a peak, at a peak, at a peak, and all of a sudden they just fell. And, um, and then he gets into the actual astrophysics of what our galaxy is doing, how it's moving almost like sideways through the Milky Way. It's really interesting and I suggest you look at it. Uh, there's multiple information sources out there that uh, gives multiple information about all this. And I think 2012 is more or less just a completion state where a molecule is going to be vibrating the, the fastest. Um, I could be wrong, don't get, I'm not no scientist, I'm just some person out there in the world thinking timeless thoughts. So, <laughs> so with that said, uh, I just want to. Uh, tell you to be at peace with global warming. There's nothing that, I mean, we can do all kinds of things to change our world, and which we should do, like like getting off of oil and getting on to um, free energy based systems, and, and there's multiple, multiple um, ideas out there for it now, and uh, we, we just have to take charge and let stop letting the corporations in corporate America and corporate world, you know, take over us. Have you ever seen the movie Fight Club? Um, basically, uh, he, at one point in time he talks about, you know, like Starbucks space stations or, or you know, conglomerates, you know, just ruling space once we get there. and. 
that the space we would be doing the same thing to space that we're doing to Mother Earth, and that is destroying. We're not destroying Mother Earth. Mother Earth would always live on. It's we're destroying ourselves because by destroying Mother Earth, the creator of our, our ourselves, or even if we haven't been created here, um, but all the life on it as well, we're just showing how much we don't love ourselves. Because if we truly loved ourselves, then why would we have to do this to the phys to why couldn't we live in symbiotic nature with the world around us if we loved ourselves? You know, why couldn't we live in harmony, basically? And that's that's everything to do with wars and everything to do with everything. War is just because we cannot live in harmony with ourselves. And so we have to act out against others. No, or act out against the environment in this case. So we really need to uh, change the way we think. But it, it's not about a few thousand spiritualists, you know, doing activists or a few thousand, you know, environmentalists doing the work. It's about everybody getting involved, and that's including you you know, the masses, and, or me, I mean, that's why I'm producing videos, to get involved, and it's, and, it, and it's about everybody doing their part, because you can't have, if you're, if you're trying to clean up the environment, you can't have someone throwing a cigarette butt out there, does that make any sense, because it's, it's like, you're, you're, you're it's like, it comes to be nothing, uh, Whatever you do, if you're trying to clean up the environment and then this one is trying to uh, destroy the environment, you're just basically not doing anything. Well, I mean, it's balancing itself out into nothing. So, if that makes any sense. So, global warming, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just the procession that our planet is going through throughout the universe.